East LA 13, Ella 13, also known as Barrio East LA 13 The Ella, is an acronym for East Los Angeles or a Mexican-American Chirano Street Gang, located in East Los Angeles, California. The East LA 13 Dukes originated in the Alizo Village government housing projects in East Los Angeles, California. However, in 1999, the Alizo Village Projects was dismantled and is now known as the Del Rio Housing Projects. The East LA 13 Dukes relocated around Cesar Chavez Avenue and Michigan Avenue, between 1st Street and North Fickett Street in East Los Angeles. The East LA 13 Dukes consist of several cliques such as the East LA Tiny Dukes, TDS, Tiny Locos, TLS, W, Boulevard Side and Pee Wees, PWS. The main rivals of the East LA 13, are the Vario Cuitro Flats, Vario Breed Street, Mob Crew and Almara Villa Gangs. Gang Case File, the victims of the attempted murders were Joe Aguila, Roberto Fuentes, Ruben Munoz, Michael Sanchez, and Juan Vasquez. Around 4.30 or 5 a.m. on September 28, 2008, they were gathered on Mott Street, a short distance from the apartment building where Joe lived at 2555 Cincinnati Street in Los Angeles. Earlier, at the building next door, 2551 Cincinnati, a party had been held, which the victims did not attend. Defendant had attended, and lingered outside for a while, appearing to eye the group. By 5 a.m. the party goers had dispersed. The victim stood around, drinking beer. Suddenly, defendant appeared running toward the group, pointing a revolver. He said, East LA 2 Roberto said, I don't bang or we don't bang and no, no, no. Defendant began firing as the victims fled. Joe, Michael, and Ruben ran down Mott Street toward Folsom. They heard multiple gunshots. Ruben was struck in the arm, Michael in the base of the neck. Both of them collapsed. Juan and Roberto ran toward the rear of the building where Joe lived, pursued by defendant. As Juan ran up the stairs toward Joe's apartment, he was shot twice in the head. Roberto continued running, and saw defendant jump the fence and flee toward the building next door, 2551 Cincinnati. Later that morning, Los Angeles police officers, including a SWAT team, surrounded 2551 Cincinnati and, using bullhorns, ordered the occupants to exit the building. Ultimately all residents complied. Eight men, including defendant, emerged from the building and were taken to the police command post at a nearby Jack in the Box restaurant. There, at a field show-up involving all eight, Joe and Roberto identified defendant as the shooter. Later, shown a photographic six-pack at the hospital, Michael selected defendant's photograph and said orally, and in a statement written by the attending detective and initialed by Michael, that the person in the photograph looks a lot like the shooter. According to Joe, about two months before the shooting, East LA Trees gang members had begun frequenting the lower right unit of 2551 Cincinnati, and East LA Trees gang graffiti appeared on an exterior wall of the building. After the field show up in which defendant was identified, police searched the lower right unit of 2551 Cincinnati. Beneath the subfloor under the stove, they discovered a bag that contained three revolvers and two notebooks. The notebooks contained gang-related writings, including East LA and individual gang monikers. On one wall of the unit was written, East LA 13 inches, referring to the East LA Trees gang, and Dukes, referring to Tiny Duke, the mascot of the University of North Carolina which East LA Trees adopted as its own. The wounded victims, Reuben, Michael, and Juan, survived. The bullet in Reuben's left arm struck his medial nerve. It took several months for him to get his use and feeling back and he still had pain and numbness in his fingers. Michael had surgery to treat the bullet wound to his neck. Juan had surgery to treat the two bullet wounds to his head. Only one bullet could be removed, the other remains. At trial, Roberto and Joe identified defendant as the shooter. 
Michael testified that he did not see the shooter's face and that when he selected defendant's photograph while in the hospital, he did so because he was pressured to identify someone and circled defendant's photograph simply to please the detective. Michael had identified defendant as the shooter at the preliminary hearing. Just after he made the identification, defendant said, Quit looking at me. It wasn't me. Michael was frightened by the statement. At trial, he remained concerned for his safety. He testified that he made the identification at the preliminary hearing because defendant looked like the person in the photograph he had selected. Ruben and Juan did not make an identification because they did not get a good look at the shooter. Los Angeles police officer Alexander Alvarez testified as a gang expert. He was familiar with the East LA Trees gang, whose primary activities include murder, vandalism, assault, and possession of weapons. He identified two other cases in which East LA Trees members were convicted of crimes, one involving murder and the other involving vandalism. According to Officer Alvarez, the East LA Trees gang, which numbers around 130 to 150 members, originated in the 1970s in the Pico Alazo Village housing project at First and Mission. When the project was demolished in the late 1990s or early 2000s, the gang was forced to move to a new area within the borders of First Street, Soto, Mott, and Cesar Chavez. Parts of the area are claimed by other gangs, and the entire area is surrounded by still more gangs, including the crazy-ass Mexican, Camp, Gang to the North. East LA Trees has been forced into a very compressed area in which the gang is fighting for its existence. Officer Alvarez was not personally acquainted with defendant, but opined that defendant is a member of East LA Trees. He based his opinion on defendant's tattoos, including East LA 13 in 5 inch letters on defendant's chest and East LA 13 inches on his back. Such tattoos demonstrated dedication to the gang. Also, a field identification card stated that defendant's gang moniker was Gumpy. Asked a hypothetical question on facts similar to the present case, Officer Alvarez opined that the hypothetical shootings were committed to enhance the reputation of the East LA Trees gang. The area of the shootings was within the territory of the rival camp gang. The presence of East LA Trees graffiti on the building at 2551 Cincinnati, from which the shooter came and to which he fled, announced that the gang was asserting its presence despite being in rival territory. By saying East LA before the shooting at the victims, the shooter was identifying his gang allegiance. Such crimes intimidate the community, potentially intimidate rival gangs, and elevate the shooter's gang among rival gangs by showing the willingness to commit violent crimes. According to Officer Alvarez, it shows that you may run us out of here from time to time, we may be surrounded by enemies, but we are still going to try to overcome, we're still here.